Moving on to question number two of exercise one point three, it says show that the cube of any positive integer is of the form four m four m plus one or four m plus three. Now in this question, it is given that it is a cube of any positive integer. So my b is four and q is q. Then we have r here. So now in this case, we know that r lies between zero and b. B in this case is four, so R lies between zero and four. So R can take four values. That is zero, one, two, and three. So these are the R values we have now. At first, what we will do at R equals to zero. So A equals four Q. Now we need to take Q. So Q on both sides, we get four Q, Q. Equals four into four into four is sixteen into four is sixty four q q. Now we need in the form of four m. So we will take four common from here, and we are left with sixteen q q. Now the bracket one can be stated as m here. So four m. It is in the form of four m. Now at r equals one, it is a equals four q plus one. So a cube cube on both sides. So four cube plus one whole cube. Whole cube is a cube plus b cube plus three a square b plus three a b square. So it can be written in the form of four cube cube plus one cube plus three four cube whole square one plus three four cube one square. So the formula we get here is sixty-four q q plus three into sixteen. Three into sixteen is forty-eight q square. Then at the end we have is twelve q and one at the back. So plus one. So now what we can take common is is four and we are left with Four, sorry, not four. It will be sixteen q q plus twelve q square plus three q plus one. Now, whatever in the bracket, we can consider it consider it as m. So four m plus one. It is in the form of four m plus one. Now we need to find at r equals to two. At r equals two, so a can be written as sorry four q plus two. Now we need to take q on both sides, so four q plus two q. So the first one will be sixty four q cube again, and two q can be written in the form of eight, and then we have three four q square. Four Q square is sixteen. Sixteen into three is forty-eight. Forty-eight into two is ninety-six Q square. Plus we have three into a that is three into four Q twelve Q into two square. So three into four Q into two square. Two square is four. Four into four is sixteen. Sixteen into three is forty-eight. Q. Now what we need to do is we need to split eight here, or we can even go with this as well in this case because in this case what we can do is we can take four common from all the terms. So we are left with four, sixteen Q Q two plus twenty four Q square plus twelve Q. So whatever in the bracket can be written as M. So it is in the form of 4m. Now the next one is at r equals three. So at r equals three, we get is a equals four q plus three. Now we need to take cube again. So four q plus three q. So it can be written as four q cube. It will be sixty four q plus three cube is twenty seven. Plus three into 
a square into b. So a in this case is 4 q whole square. 16 into 3 is 48. 48 into 3 is so 144 q square. Then in the last we have 3 into a that is 12. 12 into 9. 12 into 9 is 108 q. So now what we can do is we can split 27 as 24 plus 3. So in this case it can be written as 64 q q q 24 plus 144 q square plus 108 q plus 3. Now what we need to take common is 4. So 4 16 q q plus 6 plus 36 q square plus 4 is twenty seven q then in the last we have is plus three so it can be written in the form of four m plus three so now you can see that we have we have received four m we have four m plus one we have four m plus three so for any cube of for a cube of any positive integer it could be in the form of four m 4m plus 1 or 4m plus 3. So that's your answer for question number 2.